Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, I just love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just being you. You know, you're opening up, you're sharing with others, um, you're giving out good vibes as well as you're getting some in return. And I know it can be hard at times, but you know, there's always better days coming. So with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you feel like the if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gifts and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for, you know, showing support to me as well as my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, y'all, this beautiful meditation is so beautiful to me. It makes me feel really peaceful. I've been feeling agitated for the last few days along with my headaches. So, um... Uh, my video, I mean, the meditation song I'm listening to is 400 and 32 hertz uh letting go of fear release unconscious sorrow and headache music and music for letting go and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about um you have to feel free you have to set free the old to be able to receive the new and it's true you know we can't be holding on from things from the past you know i've done that i still do that Ooh, when i said that it was 11 11 so um make a wish to anybody who you know who wishes up to 11 11 um we have to be able to you know appreciate the things that has served us in the past even if they're bad memories you have to be able to let them let yourself know in your head in your heart in your soul these things are not happening to me anymore. These things I am changing, you know, these things I've, you know, has strengthened me, the things that I had to go through. So it's just like if we keep praying and praying on things that, you know, we truly want in our life, we can't be able to receive those things until we're able to let go of the things that has hurt us, that traumatized us. Um, just anything, you know, cause I, I've done that, you know, and it, it can be annoying at times because there's so many things I've been through. But then it's just like, I, I tell y'all about them. You know, a lot of things I feel like is very better left unsaid. But um, I've opened myself up to that. You know, I've been vulnerable to y'all. You know, I've seen y'all see me sing. I let y'all know, like, things that, you know, that I hold close to my heart. You know, even though it's sad and everything, but I know they all serve a purpose. You know, and it's just like, you know, my dad always said, you know, I want you to be happy. I want you to be able to heal from anything that hurts you. And, you know, even though there's a lot of painful things that we have to go through in life, and I can just say, when I can look at my situation, and there's times I, I cry or whatever, but now it's just like when I cry now, it can be happy tears because it's just like, you know what, these things were sent to break me. But I didn't, you know, I didn't allow that to happen because it's just like everything that I go through and I keep it real with y'all, you know, about the things that I go through, even though I get, might get agitated at times or, you know, be mad or you know, sad or anything, but that's, that's us being human. You know, we go through things to get through them. And it's just like, you know, I keep praying to God. I want things to come good in my life. I want things to get, you know, come good in my life. But then I get frustrated because they're not here yet, because there's obviously a lesson that I have not yet learned in the situation I'm in. So it's just like when you go through these different things, knowing they're happening for a reason, knowing there's always a pain behind, there's always a reason behind every tear that you shed, every hurt situation that has been brought your way. And it's just like all these things are just, you know, life learned lessons that help us towards that path that we truly need to be on. You know, I hate seeing 
a lot of my friends that are just stuck in that negative situation. Oh, I'm going to be, you know, single forever. Or I'm going to be alone forever. You know, that's all a state of mind. You know, you're pushing that out to the universe. If you keep pushing it out to the universe, that's what's going to happen. You have to be able to change those words. Say mantras to yourself. I'm alive. I survived. I'm, this is no longer happening to me. And I had to keep telling myself that, you know, you're alive. You're, you're sur you know, you're surrendering all the hurt and pain that you have to the universe and allow that those things to help you heal along the way and there's a lot of times you know I, I see some people that have just been you know especially some youtubers you know and a matter of fact it was one of my girl uh my girl uh Dama wilson she went through so much hell last year and a lot of things she didn't tell people you know she was uh you she's a youtuber too and it just seems like homegirl is just like glowed up even though she was already there it's just like you see her in such good spirits you know even though she had to go through those situations be hurt you know be used in all these situations and next you know homegirl don't look like nothing is bothering her and I, I'm so happy for her just to see her going through all those things and I was just like wow you know I'm happy to see her happy you know you go through so much hell like that because I can actually relate to that it's just mine wasn't in social media so it was just like when you actually see somebody go through things and now all of a sudden it's just like they're living the best life and you have to be able to do that and you know sometimes people are looking at the situations and, and hate on that you can't hate on that because especially if you still stuck in the same situation or the same thought process that you were like three four years ago you can't be mad about that because she had to be able to let things go for her to be able to start off brand new because she already said whatever she talking about because it was a, like a back and forth thing with her and her ex-girlfriend so it was like, you know, she used that as that, that milestone that she had to step across. Like, yeah, I went through this, this, and this, and this, and that. But I'm leaving this in 2018. I'm not going to discuss this again in 02, you know, 2019. And she left it at that, you know. And next thing you know, I ain't heard nothing else about it. Because I said, oh, gosh, I hope that um, she can get through this. Because it's just a lot you have to deal with. You know, especially if you really love somebody. So... You know, all through these situations we go through, knowing there is a reason behind the situations, but it's there to help us learn. It's help, there to help us grow. It's there to strengthen us. So no, learn from the things that have hurt you. Realize, okay, even though these things might pop up, these are no longer affecting you. Even they should not affect you, even though no matter how bad it is. And it's like, I don't know your situation, but you have to learn a way to heal from all the situations you go through. Like there's times that, you know, if I think about certain things that happened with my dad, I have to retrain myself to say, you know, something positive about this situation. So it's just like, it's all about how you think of it. It's all a state of mind. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and you know, Send all as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You know, if you're going through something, try to find something. I always, my best bet is always trying to find something, five things you're grateful for. Even through a hellish day, five things you're grateful for throughout that day. Because a lot of times, you know, when, when you start showing that thing that you're grateful for each and every day and you start training yourself to do that, there's more things that'll, you know, will come your way in a positive sense. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And um, I'm sending out uplifting uh, vibes, calming vibes, comforting vibes, and loving vibes towards anybody who truly needs it. And my, um, let me see who am I going to give a shout out to today. Uh... Let me see, Jennifer Foster, Diane Wyatt, and Katie Strait, Deep Thought Here in Mind. Much love to you. I'm just, sometimes I put out one, sometimes I put out three. So much love to you, and I hope everybody is blessed, and you know I love you so much, and I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.